Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today I'm very eager to open up this box. Why? Because I purchased this watch from Japan and it was shipped out from Japan I think on the 9th of April and today it's 16th of April. So it took a while for me to get the watch because of a few moments later. Cool. Okay, so this is a micro brand from Japan, right? The watch is made in Japan. I mean, it's stated that it's made in Japan, but I'm not sure like if it's following that Swiss made moniker where like 60% of the watch that I'm, I'm not sure. But what I know is that on the dial is printed that the watch is Japan made. And I like the fact that uh, they are going with this canvas style uh, back and then Yep, when I made the purchase, it was mentioned that every purchase will come with a watch roll. I don't think this is what watch roll, but a leather pouch for the watch itself. Let's see what is it all about. Okay, I like the fact that they actually gave us a piece of leather. I mean, if you're buying, say, a bracelet watch, this comes very handy because you do not want to scratch the case back of the watch from the bracelet and this is obviously a very handy pouch good for travel so one pocket for your watch and maybe one pocket for your straps or if you want to bring two watch two watches i believe it still can the leathers it's very soft and pliable but our interest for today is okay so it's cool kyoto and Oops, it's upside down. <laughs> Why is it upside down? I don't know. Oh, it's a NATO strap. Sorry. And this is the watch. Okay, this is the first time I got a watch that's uh, kind of packaged separately. The watch case. And they have a desiccant. And then the strap is packed separately. It's kind of interesting. Let's remove this. Put it aside. I guess this is where the warranty card is. Yes, the warranty card, the instruction. Yeah. And they gave this spring bar and a polishing cloth with Kuo. Okay, so I'm going to move stuff aside and then I'm going to go in a little closer. Closer, we are going to open up the watch. All right, so we are a little closer. Um, I guess the packaging may have gave away that this is... I'm just going to save the suspense. This is a bronze watch so they put this to prevent it from oxidizing right or patinaing if that's what you want to call it and moment of truth is has it patina over the long stay in DHL or within the customs holding wow I guess it's still in kind of a very pristine condition all right, so I'm not sure if the lighting is optimum enough for you guys to look at the watch dial. Let me turn on some lights here. I know the lights is not optimal today because it's late in the afternoon and I have sun coming through the window in front of me. But I really hope that you can see that it's kind of a red, brownish red dial with some texture on it. Let's go a little closer mm, it's not focusing yep. okay hmm yeah I'm not sure if you can see it but I'm gonna move back a little yep so it's a very nice reddish dial so what I want what I will do is to put on a spring bar and put the strap on the watch and we're gonna see how it looks okay uh, before I put on the watch strap what I will do is that I will try to peel off the case back sticker and we're gonna talk a little about the model of the watch itself so this is what they call the old Smith model and this itself is a bronze mechanical watch and it's stated at the case back that it's made in Japan all right and you see here they actually put the chemical composition of the bronze CUSN8 bronze case and Japanese movement what else uh, water resistance up to 10 bar which is 100 meters which is not 
bad. Um, I couldn't recall if it's a push pull crown or if it's a screw. Oh, it's a screw down crown. Well, that's a surprise. And I think beating inside here is Seiko NH38. It's a no date version of the Seiko NH35. So we don't get that ghost position on the crown, you know. So basically, it's you unscrew it, you can wind the watch, you pull it out you adjust the time so there is no ghost date uh, crown position and that's what i like so let's put on the watch strap okay so this is how the watch look on its original nato straps they have a i think three versions of straps that we can choose from if we were to purchase the watch from their website so um, I think I went for this iconic kind of rate because I think that it matches, first of all, the bronze case very well. And second of all, it matches the textured dial, the brownish, or I think they call it a rust dial. All right. So it's like a rusted metal or rusted iron color. And I think the rate goes very well with the dial. One thing that surprised me is the keeper on the strap itself. It's a NATO strap, but somehow or rather, it comes with two leather keeper. I'm thinking or I'm feeling that it's leather. I think it has kind of the same feeling as the leather on the watch pouch. I'm not sure if the buckle is actually bronze or if it's like uh, what we can get from cheapest NATO strap. It's a bronze colored um, I don't know, steel buckle, something like that. But I think it's going to be a real bronze. We shall see, right, if it's going to patina over time. So why did I purchase this watch? Well, I had some fun with my Zelos bronze meteorite dial watch. Yes, that's a mouthful. And that is a dive watch. It's kind of big. It's kind of chunky. And when I saw that Kuo is offering a bronze mid-century size meaning that it's like i believe this one is 35 millimeters i couldn't recall the luck to luck but it's very short i think it's around 44 or 43 millimeters i just simply could not resist it because i do not have a i was i wouldn't say this is a true dress watch but i do not have a normal watch that comes with a bronze case and I just wanted to feel like if it's going to patina, how will it look like? Will it look like a piece of antique? Because the z -Loss certainly does not look like an antique even if it's patina because it's a modern case style dive watch. But this one, on the other hand, it's kind of a classic style watch. So that's why I'm interested. But one of the key thing that in a way, uh, you know, triggered or irked me a little is the white fully white colored indices right i i get it that they want it to be contrasting to the dial but you know going for a faux patina on the hour markers the 369 but with a fully white colored hour marker mm, yeah i mean i would prefer that you know they follow the color theme of the faux patina uh, loom, loom right but the thing is that um, the indices or the hour markers they are raised they are not just printed but they are applied and I like the detail and let's see if we have anything on the crown yep it's just cool well somebody may say that yep the cool just looked like a time new times new <laughs> Roman font right with nothing fancy and yes, I agree there's some conflicting fonts here because Kuo Kyoto is not italic and they italized or made the mechanical word italic. So yeah, why? And then the Japan made is normal. So mm, yeah, so that's a bit of uh, contention there. Okay, so this is the, how the watch look on my 6 inch or 15.2 centimeters wrist. And yes, the dimensions it's just very nice for my style of wrist one thing i need to point out is that um, the number of holes on the strap is kind of um, not in to those with smaller wrists because i think i'm on the second last hole and i'm on a six inch wrist so if you have 
a smaller risk than mine, um, you may find yourself, you know, very difficult to get a good fit. So, yeah, that's something that sh- uh, maybe Kuo can offer. It's like offering a shorter style of NATO strap or maybe a strap with a couple of more holes at the end. So, yeah, yeah I think that's all for this unboxing video. I'm going to do a full review video. I know, I know, I have been a little... Mm, yeah, delaying and, and dilly-dallying, not doing a lot of videos because I'm really very busy recently and I really f- need to force in some time just to make this video, all right? Because I'm so interested, I was so eager, I was looking forward to get this watch every single day, so I had to. But I will try to come up with a full review video of this watch after enjoying it for a month or two. And if possible, I will try to post YouTube shots on maybe weekly, right, on how the watch patina over time. If that's you're interested in, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. Till then, take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.